There we go. Ahoy everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Fear Sir Mighty Lieutenant Rakir at your service. Okay, and... Okay, <laughs> welcome back to Seasons After Fall. Uh, for our second stream of this, uh, the, last week we finished uh, with our previous game and started with, well, <laughs> this one. And yeah, I honestly thought we would finish it in that uh, two and a half hours-ish, <laughs> but nope. <laughs> Yeah, I think we guessed that for when we when we showcased it, a record it said something like twenty five percent already done or something. So we guessed, all right, it probably might be done in one stream or long stream, probably even. Yeah, we'll probably finish it today. <laughs> I don't see us making yeah. a third stream of this. Uh, but yeah, a odd little thing for. For some reason, it looked like the timer on the pre-stream started late or something. Even though I pressed it at the usual time. It could be that uh, because I moved the USB receiver for my headset to the to one of the USB slots on the main PC, that it's drawing power away from a, the stream deck or something. I'll have to experiment around a bit. But yeah, one of the <laughs> one of the advantages of having moved it there is that uh, I can actually move around the house with the headset on just and still keep listening to stuff. But yeah, I'll have to look into that. Maybe I'll need to put a larger power source into my computer or something. We'll have to see. Yeah, that hmm. might be... Like, it, you don't want to have too much or too little power going into the computer. Uh, too much is less of a problem because it typically gets limited to the amount you need. But if you have too little, yeah, then things are not going to be working. Yeah. Oh, the, the, the problem is it, that has become a new problem again for, I think I mentioned this before, many new graphic cards and all that, they've been sloppy. So many of those will drive the fans demanding more power than they should be using. Okay. But that's more uh, of a, yeah, whoever makes them being sloppy, just slapping it, screwing it out to the market before testing them. Or testing them enough slash properly. I th I think, I've, I'm pretty sure I've heard of multiple occasions of those new uh, 4000 series uh, graphic drivers absolutely melting themselves. Uh, yeah, so, I, I saw yeah. actually uh, one started to um, boil its connection cable head. And I'm, I'm not quite, it was fizzling by like bacon. Yeah, okay, all the better of a reason for me to not have taken from the, one of those. I, yeah, I typically is... tend to stick a, a generation behind with the graphic cards until the, well, the, the previous or the next one over gets uh, discounted massively because of a new series coming out. Yeah, that usually be many people's tactics, but now problem is many of the new series they are popping out them like crazy, or they claim they're more powerful, but people are not notice that they are weaker compared to former generations and more glass canony. And so like they break oh. easier. Yeah, and all of a sudden, all right, it's good, but then we started to notice like one one two months that the effect is reduced and uh, they will won't have like, as long a lifespan, like... Yeah, since, I think it's before, and it seems to be more clear now. Since the pandemic, when they saw the dollar signs with, uh, in their eyes, with how many more people started to buy computer parts to make their own computers, they just... they've been greedy. Yeah, and if they're just going to cut down the lifespan of their products to, well, force people to buy more, then people are just it's going to buy somewhere else. the noisiest and most violent of the four winds, the Mistral. Only the top of the stone is visible. The rest is buried underground. It's not okay. in its normal state. Go and investigate, Fox, and find out what's holding the stone. Okay. Yeah, I repeat, here's the sad thing. Almost mm. all component, uh, computer component companies are guilty of this now. Yeah. So more than all the more reason to all, all the more reason to buy all their stuff, which will actually last. If you can. 
And also, so as I heard, I hope it's false, but if it's true, something that Microsoft and other computer components from Modipos are guilt of now, possibly? I don't if they're going to do for this. Installing kill switches in the motherboards to die after five, four, five years. Okay. Intentionally. Uh, and only with, you, you can deactivate them. Problem is, again, it's in the motherboard. I think you can see the problem there right away. Yeah. You need to uh, be someone who really works with computers to know how to navigate that and not accidentally mess it up more. So, for well, common no. folks like me and Hill. Yeah. Yeah, that. Ugh. Yeah. It's... I feel like we should be in a generation where gaming and all that is greater and better, but... It's a lot of bullshit. Yeah, and all just to squeeze more money out of us. What are you doing? Oh. Ew. Wait, did that turn that puddle into a teleportation pad or something? Also, where is that? Oh, gosh, now I think there was something else from Microsoft again. Uh, at the end of 2025, support for uh, Windows 10 will end. However, you can pay for extended security updates. Yeah, of course. H here's the problem. First year, about... I think it was sixty dollars. Then you can renew it of the of the one year. You can renew it again for a second year. Now it costs about one hundred and twenty dollars. And after the third year, when you can renew it for a third time, two hundred and twenty dollars. They're basically trying to extort people more. Yeah, and here's the thing. They said this was being contest of uh, that many com companies may not be uh, able to. Buy Windows 11 for the stuff, and then and then again, here's the here's the, here's the real. So they're going kicker. to make they're going to make uh, keeping Windows 10 around more expensive than actually getting uh, the new quote <laughs> the new version. Yeah, but here's the real kicker: the price is per computer. Yeah, of course. So yeah, if you're a company, and you're gonna end up. Yeah, two, over two hundred dollars. Actually, that's gonna be more. Says so you're gonna need to add the other early years on top on that per computer. But but well, 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 where are you up around? Like almost, almost four hundred dollars per for three years per computer. Yeah, what people are just going to do then is to not do that and just use other just other companies as uh, antivirus and such, which they typically yeah. already oh. should. Yeah, the Windows, Windows antivirus is actually extremely good. However, again, the price is a bit of a bit of finger. And also problem is, we don't know for how long other people will extend their security office for Windows 10 for don't we just move away and stop giving Windows 10 update themselves as well? Yeah, I, I didn't mean like you... <clears throat> I meant more independence, like Avast and uh, McAfee, though I've heard yeah, that's that uh, McAfee... Even uh, they have a limit on how long they will support the system. Okay. So... It might be going? free, but it, may, it will not be uh, infinite. They will move on sooner or later. Okay, but at least those should be still usable for a good amount of time. Okay, now we've got another teleporter puddle. I just gonna hope there will be enough backlash. I feel like they got them unnecessary board for the almost forced people to get Windows 10. But when most people like me got it, it was at least in somewhat stable state. And I just got it because I got a new cube too that came along with it. However, this 
is way overhanded. I hope they will go to court for... Yeah, again, it's extortion. Microsoft. Yeah, Microsoft are in, already in the uh, problem, and that, and it doesn't make sense for them to do it either for more computer uh, owners than ever own Windows 10 than the other previous models. So, doing this... Yeah, it's only going to piss off their, <clears throat> their customer base, but then again, that's been what uh, so many companies have been doing recently. Okay, that's new. Yeah, I, I, I think uh, the sponsors or whatever Microsoft have, probably also would like to go, why do this... Yeah, shareholders. They probably also will react to this badly. If they're like, actually smart enough, because often shareholders are probably some of the stupidest people you can find. Okay, what is the purpose yeah, with this here? But I, think, I also heard a, that it's a bit of flip, coin flip. Some can be extremely stupid, but some can also be extremely smart. And I think Windows, Microsoft may even have tried to force the value shift to Windows 10 for currently. But shareholder, this you will see how much shares are in Windows 10 compared to 11. They just go. Well, they should be supported with Windows 11, but there's clearly more money in Windows 10. Yeah. Could also be that they're doing that because of that. But yeah, yeah. shareholders I mean, really only care about one thing, that is just making profit. The issue is, are they smart enough to, well, go for long-term profits, or are they just idiots who go for profit now, no matter the cost? Yeah. What the heck? If it, if, it, if it means burning everything down for next week, for next year. Yeah, to, a, a good example of when they behave good is Wildcard. When Wildcard was in early access, they released Scorch Earth DLC in early access. And uh, their shareholders were not happy about it. They thought, just like the audience, that was a bullshit move. Yeah. To have a paid DLC for an early access game. Looks like this place is sort of acting as a teleporter hub as well. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, I hate my voice. Ah. Does that get? Uh, does that actually get well, sent uh, over here? Yes, it is. Okay. Then what can we do with you then? Magic of waters. All right. Oh yeah. I I just hope. EU and others actually start, and again, EU have already started to act against Apple, Microsoft, and many other companies on these behaviors. Yeah. Also, feels like due to it, the other companies are trying to do as much stupid things as possible. Yeah, but all the, the other stupid around. things are in court. Is that right? Yeah. <clears throat> Basically, do all this, you know, do all the money grabbing that they can before they get slapped around. What would we even need you for here? Or do we need you on the other side? Yeah, I, I think I said it before. I would not be surprised that we'll soon be a... Here's the thing, it's not gonna, gonna just be a video game crash. It's gonna be a video game crash, computer crash, and maybe even console crash if things go bad as well. Yeah. Okay, up there we go. That's where we needed to get you. I was overthinking. Hmm. Well, the thing, but, in that you could, could make it worse is an internet crash. Uh, did I find more doubtful? And, oh, I think I see what we need to do. We need to get a bunch of winds blowing against this thing to push it into the uh, to, yeah, towards the surface. That makes sense. But yeah, I agree with you. It's doubtful, but I think you can agree. If that would happen, yeah, that would really be shit hitting. If, no, that's. That's too mild, even. That's been a catastrophe. Oh, hello. Okay, that's one of those nests up there. Oh. And when I looked around early, you know, the last week, I did notice something about sleeping spots or something, and I'm guessing that's one of those. We saw one earlier, but I couldn't find where it uh, or how to get to it. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna now try to focus on this game instead yeah, of uh, well bullshit. <laughs> uh, in some better news with that, actually. Oh. 
Please uh, tell some good news. In America, the FCC has reverted a, uh, a ruling... Oh, hello. Okay, a bit late on that game. Has uh, reversed a ruling that uh, said that internet access was not a commodity, but instead a luxury. So basically allowing uh, internet providers to basically absolutely fleece uh, their clients. But that has now been reversed. So yeah, internet uh, should be a lot more, more uh, a lot cheaper now, <laughs> or going to be a lot cheaper in uh, America. Nice. I recall that for many of the rules could damage the world in general. Yeah, as a side of it, a stupid precedence for others to abuse, and all because of one asshole with his oversized mug. Who was very you clearly there's in nothing you want to say to me? No, why? Now what have I done? How do you explain a deer lost in the middle of the well? And tell me how a salmon climbed a pine tree all by itself. And what is that jellyfish doing in the water? The evolution of the species, perhaps? Yes, it's that, of course. Oh, never mind. I was just having a bit of fun, that's all. How many times do I have to tell you? We don't mistreat the animals. We don't do horrible things to them. But it's so boring just having to wait around in this forest. No, we can't just wait. We have to look. Listen and learn. I know, I know. It's hard, I'm sorry. It's not apologies I want from you. I just want you to understand the importance of a life. We don't possess an animal unless it's strictly necessary. If it's in danger or if the sanctuary needs it, for example. But while I wait for you to understand, I'll try and stop the animals from coming to our forest. Okay, so that's why there's practically no a no animals here. The, the, the Guardian of Winter is basically warding them off. Oh, understandably so. Yeah. It, it very, it's very much sounding like the seed... Muddy dream. It's very sounding that uh, the seed is, well, acting a lot like just a petulant child. Well, seed. Maybe get a clue. Yeah. He's young, <laughs> as he keeps all calling the others elders. And let's nice. be honest. It, blood heck, even t teenagers uh, have sometimes uh, struggled with the concept of how valuable our life is. Yeah. Some will understand it early on, even kids will stand, uh, stand on early on. Not always. Yeah, it depends on uh, the life experiences they, well, experience, and, well, <laughs> the teachings of the parents. Yeah. Because a child with a shitty parent is very likely to end up growing into a shitty kid. Yeah, but then we also had an occasion where you have a good parent, but uh, you have a shitty kid. Like, you try your best to actually do something good, but they just react it all for some reason. Yeah. So, I think those are a bit more rare. Okay. We have so, our second flow. So I guess in those cases, it might, the influence may be bad. Influence could be coming from somewhere else where they had problem separated from. Yeah. Though I think there have been a few studies that have had leanings that sometimes it can just be utterly genetic, with uh, some people just turning out to be absolutely terrible. Yeah, probably not fully confirmed, of course, but. Still, yeah. there's always a t small chance. Yeah. 
probably why people always are concerned whenever the, uh, there's a child that's offspring of a criminal or such. Because I feel uh, usually it's unfair to judge them since. Yeah. Don't just, just, uh, yeah, you know the phrase, don't judge by the sins of the father. But so many do that. Yeah. Let's see. Ah, here we go. Wake up. And get the hell over there. I, I have to say that... <clears throat> in part, I can definitely see why people would get a bit frustrated with this game, since it doesn't keep track of objectives and such. So if you were to stop with this game for, say, like a week or more... It... <clears throat> I, yeah, you could definitely lose uh, track of where you, what was going on and such. Yeah. But on the other hand, it is it, it is also very nice and it is rather immersive as well. Oh yeah, um, bloody gorgeous. There we go. Okay. Now just gotta get rid of any other obstacles in the way of the flow towards the stone. Okay. Are there any actually? Because we already broke that. Hmm. I guess in a way you could say, in part due to it being so immersive, that it also uh, pushes you towards keeping track, <clears throat> keeping track of things uh, <clears throat> with pen and paper or such, like in the olden days, like the '90s and such. It's... Possibly. I, I've actually been starting to use some pen and paper, but for different reasons. Like, I actually started to take notes of the things I built in Valheim. <laughs> yeah, I, I have some design paper around here from uh, when I was <laughs> working with, you know, working on the. Uh, uh, <clears throat> on the Dwarf Fortress designs and such, and I used it, it with design paper, I may, basically mean like uh, paper that's uh, drawn in with squares on it and such. Also, need to have that be melted. Wait, hmm. did, did you also use design paper when you were designing Minecraft buildings? Basically. Not sure if that's the correct word for it, but it's what I use for it. And, okay, Wait. I was kind of hoping that the wind would drag this up, but no. Yeah, I can say this here. You basically turned it into a design paper with how you used it. Yeah, it's not like official blueprint stuff or such. Let's see. Let's pop out and back in again, because that's when last time it gave a progression on that. Yeah, oh, actually, Sesame is Valheim. Once Ashlands is out, we, 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 we had to, me and Hill had to buy a like that we were to reduce. Yeah. Uh, we wait for now. We thought that he didn't do that earlier. I don't will. Okay. All right. We had a bit of move before we try to have as many people as possible, like four. But we drew to, alright, minimum three people, four if possible. But once Ashlands, the update is official out for Ashlands of Valheim, we reduce it to two since. Well, you, you don't need three or four people against the Ig tier Eldo bone mass. Yeah, though I think for the most part we'll probably just off screen stuff since it would mostly just be repeat stuff anyways. Yeah, like, building the base and preparing the farm and such, we will do probably off-stream. We probably will do the bosses on stream, but... Once things are prepared, we probably will skip out the uh, searching part for them. The seed said when she scolded you for waking me up. It's obvious now. Only the seed could have sent us to sleep. Why did she do that? Con fully confirmed now that she is actually the seeds? Yeah. Okay, that's three of the winds awakened. Only one remaining now should be in the mountains, I believe. Yep. Oh, yeah. 
one of the reasons is beside what Hill said, uh, just repeating where we are done, is also easy to get up a, a lot of food where you have less mouths to feed. Yeah. Like, sure, we have we have get double resources, which work all right, we were just us two, but add a third and a fourth person? Yeah, yeah we, we had some food issues. Uh, so what? Yeah, then it quickly adds up. Yeah. So, the hunting with this thing we have now, we probably prevent us from needing to do a lot of farms, except the chicken farm. Aloxis drew drop a lot of meat to begin with. But yeah, definitely we, once we are within uh, the modder and the other high level bosses, we probably invite the, the other ones to join again, unless they are available yeah. or earlier. But we, but those are the bosses, Modor, Yagov, Queen, and... Oh, you're gonna feel for this one, who the new boss is. Who? No. Father. Okay, so another dragon. I think you can guess uh, in what relation he has to the other one. Yeah. With the name. Uh, I actually said the truth, it's father, but still. I had the, a YouTuber showed me some things and they had the, the head as a trophy. They were they were not expected to hear the talk. I couldn't barely read it, but I saw it in the last text. Mother. They mentioned mother. And it clicked with me right away. Oh! The husband! Yeah. He's going to be miffed about us slaying his wife. Yeah, so all of us have something, I guess, as all that, but. Oh boy! Him double. The actual boss? Yeah. For him, it's personal. Exactly. That reminds me, actually, once we have actually beaten each of the bosses, we should take them on again for their trophy, so we can hang those around the, the base's decorations and see what they have to say when they start complaining at us, because we've had Ike Tears heads at nearly <laughs> all times during our previous bases. Yeah, so I'm curious what the others will say, if anything. Ike Tears is the easy one, but also, let's be honest, doesn't they, they look the most badass truth to have on the wall? <laughs> True. Okay, now where is the stone going to be here? Oh god, I, I just imagined someone showing you the D trophies. <laughs> and you just go, um, and we have, we have here, they just go, uh, oh, this is impressive. You should see mine at, uh, at home. And then you show a picture of uh, a stag with a lot of metal chains in their horns. <laughs> uh, and now you could do the reverse with the uh, X at home uh, meme. Ike Tear, and we have Ike Tear at home, just a normal deer. <laughs> oh, gods. Uh, uh, that's a meme I both love and hate. <laughs> Go. For her scene someday, I just go, you. Like yeah, always, uh, but, you always have assholes like that. Yeah, or people who have a concerning humor. Like someone asked, uh, "I want a new, uh, I want to find a girlfriend," and the mother says, "You have a girlfriend at home." Blow up doll. No worse. Okay, I don't think we need to continue on that line. Yeah, it was that was my introduction to that meme, and I did not like it. It's a long ass shortcut. I think I should. I just remember how I responded. I actually finished the video, stared at the screen for two or three minutes, trying to analyze what the heck I just saw. Then I stood up, walked to the window, I just looked outside. Uh, thus you were emulating another meme, like the uh, Spanish, I think it's Spanish or Mexican guy who is just standing all over the place, uh, like they're waiting for something. Yeah, for, for me it was more of... 
trying to understand why they made that joke and then just trying to purge it from my mind. <laughs> Again, I have, I've seen other variants I liked more, but that first one, no. Let's see. Can I actually chat with you again in the... Okay, where are you lot going? Uh, is this concerning? Uh, this game is gorgeous. This and Valheim are gorgeous games. Yeah, Valheim in a different way. This More atmospheric. This the driest and hottest of the four winds. The Sirocco. Four symbols have been engraved around it. Whoever carved them wanted to weaken the power of the stone. I've seen these symbols somewhere before. I can hear the cicadas scratching on a branch lower down. Find them and watch them closely. They know how to reproduce these marks. Okay. Oh, so there's cicadas. Oh, cicadas that is out of here. I think. I think it depends on if you're using British or English accent with it. But I think most say cicadas. Which sounds a bit like it has a bit of a Spanish flair to it. Well, that might just be me. Yeah, I, I, I do think uh, it might it, it might be a Japanese... It, no. I think that's the... Is a Spanish name... But some of the countries may have their own unique names for it. Like, I, I, I'm gonna suspect the Japanese, who have a lot of them, have their own name for them. Okay. Oh, yeah. Got a drawing, bit of a drawing board here. I'm looking forward to uh, Ashlands for the new build pieces are gorgeous as well. Another shrine. I like that they planted these all over the place. So you actually know that they are around before everything, and then they act, then they give them a function. Oh yeah. Okay, now the cicadas are following us. Um. Hmm. Okay, we'll have to we'll have to go up for a moment then, so we can take a photo of the uh, symbols. So yeah. We'll need to recreate them, I'm pretty sure, to undo them. Okay, sort of uh, reverse the polarity stuff or such. Uh, let's see. That is one. That is two. Three. And... I need to go a bit higher, I think, because part of that one is not visible. Okay. Yeah, I really have to say that this game really surprised me with uh, the depth it was you know, ta it's taking. The, the <laughs> gameplay is still mostly simple, but it is it is far less simple than I thought it would be. Yeah, I expect a simple but deep game. But I expect it to be shorter. Okay. Going to need to be, take a bit of a leap for this one, or not. So, uh, actually, I can just I, jump up here. I am so far pleasantly surprised, but they are going deeper even than expected when I think about it. Yeah. Okay. I've got all of the symbols. Uh, yeah, th that's also a useful thing about modern tech now, huh? That you don't need to uh, actually <clears throat> try and replicate uh, such symbols by hand and possibly make mistakes about it. Depends on the okay. symbols. Like okay, runes, like these, would probably be easier to do, but more complex ones that look like... like... Okay, here I see example. Since most... Uh, I don't think, the, for example, the average Dutch know how to write kanji. Yeah. Writing kanji as a note will probably be more tricky. 
again, the between now let's talk about between point of uh, hold on a sec. How used they are to it and if they use it often or not at all to begin with. There's actually already symbols lined out right here. Let's see. Will something happen if I take mark those out? Yeah. These symbols hmm. here will say are rather simple, like they're not co highly complex. Unless you've written like a crow. Again, if someone writes it like a crow, then it doesn't matter if it's a, the writing thing is complex or simple. Hmm. Is there a, I, I actually have to try to write in kanji. Okay, that, that will just disconnect them. And, uh, uh, let me say this for someone, uh, as uh, someone who have written a little bit in kanji. It takes time to get used to. Yeah. And then mm. again, you, you're all literally learning a new alphabet, so... Yeah. A lot of large alphabets. You know, I, I would say, I'm kind of impressed the over uh, the user can be over uh, and those brightness uh, at all. How people have been able to memorize each and every damn one. Yeah. Like that, that, hmm. I, I will applaud them for that. Well, that is impressive. We need to somehow get these to match up with that, I think. Hmm. Oh. Also something else I learned today, so we talked about a bit about languages. Apparently Iceland, um, they name everything, they will have their own unique uh, name for everything. Everything. And I learned that they, that includes dinosaurs. Okay. So yeah, Iceland had their own unique name for each damn dinosaur. Hmm. Or rather, uh, at least many of them are actually translation of what uh, some of the dinosaur names means, but others have uh, just a complete unique one. Can I tell these to stop in the air or something because we need the second one over with this actually not the next one hmm but if i send one over and then send another one and un release the other one the next one over will also be unleashed hmm Oh, there's more marks. Okay, some of the marks looks more like claw marks. I may need to look up how to do this, but for now, let's try to replicate the symbols that we found Ooh. upstairs. Okay. Wait, now that. I just saw one of the patterns up there that looks like the ones these are doing. Yeah, that's what I was seeing. So unless there is some way to get them to change their pattern, oh. like they, <clears throat> their connection becomes more circular or such, I don't see how we can match these symbols. Also, I don't think there's actually enough room to match the, the first symbol I'm working on, the crossed one. At least not standing up. We might be able to copy it on its side. Maybe yeah. that'll work. Yeah, try to figure out how the heck the plan. Like, like this one, I um, cannot wonder if they have made unnecessary tricky due to you have to do work with jump on levitating platforms that move up and down, left and right. Hmm. Yeah, that adds a bit of annoyance to it. 
Okay, there. Front. Okay, let's That's try pretty. drawing this thing on its side. So this one next, then the upper left, down left. Do we even have enough? Do we even have enough fireflies or cicadas for that? Let's find out. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if this actually works. Get up here. Yeah. If I'd parked earlier, I would have gotten that. Okay. There. Is that going to do anything? Now, if it did anything, it's not obvious. Let's see. Did that maybe change the marking upstairs? Hmm. Typically, if something like that happens, it would show a bit of a cutscene, so I'm presuming no. But still best to take a look. Yeah, just in case, for sometimes. It is subtle. No, it's still there. Hmm. Then what else would I potentially need to do? Is there something else we need to do to get more cicadas to help us? I don't think so. Does mean that these photos aren't going to be of use, probably. Okay. Uh, you probably on these. Uh, yeah, anyway. You probably will want a proper bigger photo. So you can see it fully. So wait. wait. What if you start on the wrong end? I don't think that should matter. Let's see. That matches. Let me do a quick search. Maybe I'm just missing something. Let's see. Seasons. Are you that? After fall. Food into the machine. Cicada puzzle. Okay. Uh. <laughs> That reminds me, actually, I, I recently remember it's had, that you can steam stuff with like a rice cooker or with just a pan of water and a sieve if you have one, or if you have one that fits. So I'm actually thinking about trying steamed hamburgers, see how that goes. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's... And I'm going to right. steamed hamburgers, really? Yeah. I think I've only heard those in well, cartoons and series. <laughs> I was thought it was a joke. Okay, changing... I should have tried this earlier, but changing seasons changes the patterns between them. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I I should have tried that again. Uh, okay. Yeah, I should probably the place slow so we can we probably didn't think that this was one of those that will change if we change seasons for. Let's be honest, we we have only played a very few P games that has something similar to this. But you change back and no, forth between that. dimensions and such. There. Okay. I'm I'm guessing these symbols here are supposed to denote different seasons, maybe or such. But wait, I think those are supposed to be the one circle thing is there. So you have an area wrong, possibly. 
And we'll find out in a second. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything too specific between those. Okay. Okay, maybe I did have it wrong then. Uh, let's see. Let me look at the photos again, because it said that we can draw one of the patterns. It's... Uh, I see, I had to, I had to start wrong, I think. So, Autumn. Also... Oh yeah, it also shows a bit... No, not there. Okay, oh. the, the Z-like pattern, we can draw that here. That free. Okay. We start here. Completely missed that jump. Oh dear. Let me see. Also, if you're gonna do steam, how many, I think you need to have them pre cooked or something. I'll have to look at. I'll have to look around for uh, yeah, tips and such. Yeah, like, okay. if you buy meatballs, for example, in the store, they are usually, you can eat them cold, ready to eat if you want. You should taste if you cook them, or cook them, then use them as a cold meatball in the next morning. But they are completely edible right from the box, or uh, whatever you get them in a usually. Package. Yeah, package. Those you could see work steamed, but a hamburger? Maybe depending on the brand and if they are somewhat pre-cooked. Yeah, are they... again, I'll, I'll have to double check what uh, yeah. advice there is for it. Sucks. And... Yeah, do it for. I am unsure. Yeah. Again, something tells me that some meat, raw meat in a steam cooker might be a bad idea. At least purely raw, like a raw steak, probably might be a bad idea. Okay, I thought if we had to connect it with winter from the second point to the third point here, but according to this, it's supposed to be summer as well. I thought it was going to use each of the seasons with these connections, well, not once, since sp spring connects twice, but we'll see how this goes. Uh, okay, but before we just happen, I, I was stroking my beard, and I was this happened yesterday as well. I just felt a stab in my finger. This sharp hair. Yeah, I'm looking at it. It's stuck in my finger at the moment. That's why I just said ow for yeah. It looked like there I saw a problem with the needle and surprised me. I gotta pull it out. There you go. Okay, I'm guessing we have to replicate the, these one by one in different areas, maybe? Uh, Possibly, see. but this one it doesn't have an altered, altered version, so I think we need to find more. Okay, there was actually that drawing area... Wait, are they keeping their... They're sort of keeping their position. Okay, that's a bit cute. There was that other area around here where we could draw symbols with cicadas. All right. With fireflies. Uh, I think uh, this was a, a young cicadas. Yeah. On the upper floor, there was another area with those stones where we could uh, put the cicadas to draw lines. So that's where we'll have to go for the, for the other ones. Okay. Yeah, just in time. And now I just realized that a character called Just in Time would make for a pretty funny <laughs> name for a character in a time travel thing. I think it's already been done. I feel like I heard that pun before. Probably. Or if it's like a pun someone 
ha should have done already. Yeah, here are the other symbols. Okay. Okay. There. I'm presuming we'll have to draw this, you know, deep, yeah, these in winter since that's just a straight line. It looks a bit there different here. Here that was not good. Or do we need to draw them all? Hmm. Let's, let's try this symbol here. There. Again, I'm assuming that we need to draw it like this. I'm, so I'm not seeing any sim. I'm not seeing any hints to uh, use a specific seasons or yeah, see, yeah, I'm not seeing any hints for any specific seasons connections with these. Get out of there. Okay. Then there. There and there. Am I missing something then? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Just give fucking answers, not complain about stuff. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. We're in total, need to throw. Yeah. And all clues around the upper level. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Second. Yeah, that one. Very fast. Mm hmm. One need to be. Sp hmm. I think we might need to put in a specific code or a symbol in each of these. Um, hmm. Let's see. We have to, that one here. We have that one. Is there one missing here? No, there's that one still. The only one missing here is the Z one, I think, then. Well, that so... one we did in another area. No, that's... Uh, let me check the photos again. Uh, uh, the one that looked like a mm -hmm. uh, six-sacked sneak. Yeah, this, this one has also not been formed here. So there's three symbols here. The only one that's not here is the one we made in the at the bottom. But I'm not seeing any hints as to what season we need to use to input these. Hmm. Let me see. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. <laughs> Uh, from this room with the stone and the rune patterns, where you solve the first puzzle, it will light up for you. Top left corner exit. First filling platforms. Mm -hmm. Three. Okay. Here, now you can input the other puzzles. The second one, the mo easiest to find the clues for it. Uh, okay. 
Let's try this. Bottom left. Take it to the one right above it. Wait, which? Uh, right. Okay, it's going for that pattern, the crossed one. Okay. I'll check my food. Winter? Okay, I am... Maybe we didn't find the clues for this, but I'm not seeing at all how you're supposed to know which seasons to switch to between these. Okay, summer. To the left side. Yeah, we, we very much missed something about these, but... Winter here, autumn, and here. Okay, that. Okay, how were we supposed to know about this specific uh, form to the pattern? Okay, according to this, the the actual patterns are supposed to appear in the air in s different rooms. Let's see. Let me. I'm just doing this to check. Uh, she... uh, there. Oh, okay. That that. Okay. Th this is <laughs> this. I would not call good puzzle design since you're just supposed to find these randomly. Okay, uh, does it stick around, or does it vanish the moment we move away? Yes, it moves away. Okay. Uh, let's see, winter, winter, and then autumn, or the rest of that. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know that they expect you to uh, jump around, explore, and find it, uh, it or... It was a poor decision that you most likely find it by accident. Yeah, but if you're if you're more likely to find something like that by accident, then uh, I wouldn't call that good design. Yeah, it would not be if it it's by accident. Wait, that would. Unless oh, I accidentally barked on the la the lowest one instead of the one I was aiming for. Okay, there. There. My fault for taking a risk with that. Okay. There. There. And this time, not going to take a leap of faith. But actually going to work my way towards this. There. There we go. Okay, then where are we supposed to find the lost one, the zigzag? Hmm. I, I, I like the general concept of this puzzle, but the fact that we just need to find the patterns randomly in the background, that I do not like. Yeah, that's a bit poor design. Right, is that, are we going to get the other one revealed somewhere around here or such? Hmm. Okay. Taking a quick look around for where that might be revealed. Oh, hello. Okay, shortcuts to where, though? Hmm. Okay. 
let me just look up the next one for this. Hmm. Oh, okay. According to this, the, the last pattern is revealed at the end of that shortcut. Or zipline as it's named here. Mm -hmm. Exit from the right side. Not there. Okay, let's go take a look for this pla uh, for this pattern. And then put it in. There it is. Zoom. Okay. Uh, have we been here before? Oh. oh. Okay, this is showing the pattern, but it's in parts. Okay, so winter, spring, no, winter, winter, spring, winter, autumn. Okay. Winter, winter, spring, winter, autumn. Okay. Uh, which way do we exit? Uh, that way just leads back to uh, <clears throat> leads back to the exit point of the zip line. Oh. Okay, it shows it where the platform is, not where we were, okay. So winter, winter, spring, winter, autumn. <clears throat> Another flower patch. Okay. That was a lot better. <laughs> that was a lot better of a hint. Okay, so... And I'm back. Winter. Welcome back. I feel a bit strange uh, at the moment. Oh. I feel warm. But it's freezing outside. Okay. Maybe the, uh, the heating inside finally started to have an effect. Uh, it would make sense if there was sun outside, but it's not, not at least at that amount. And I always have the heater turned off. Okay. I will not be surprised if I'm having a mild fever or something. Mm. Right. Well, sure, I feel I'm mild tired, but not that fevery and tired, too. Fever is coming different strengths. Sus. And by I mean strength, I mean you can have a weak fever and a strong fever. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, let's go activate the stone. Uh, one further down. So that's back the other way. Okay. Hmm. We didn't get... Wait. <laughs> I think I might have accidentally skipped something with the previous stone because we didn't enter the nightmare. So we might need to go back to the quagmire. Uh-oh. <coughs> there we go. doesn't understand the ritual of the seasons. Her fears have overwhelmed her, and she's built a prison around herself. Yeah, we were supposed you, to jump in. Do anything to get her out and bring her back to us. There we go. Okay, it does mean that we'll have to backtrack a bit towards the, to the previous stone. You again. I can hear everything you're saying, you know. You and that stupid bear. You want to subject me to your silly ritual? Never! You don't scare me. You can tell that to the Guardians. No, I won't let you. You can't tell me what to do and what to become. You can't! 
For someone who is not afraid, you certainly sound <laughs> afraid. I'm gonna guess she's a nature spirit, a young one that. Uh... Do you realize what the guardians will do to you when you're no longer useful to them? They'll forget you and make you promises they'll never keep. Those liars. They want you to think they're wise, but they're crazy. They say they're your friends, but want one thing only for you to disappear. They'll do the same to you as they wanted to do to me. Okay, not that way. The first time we can actually die somewhere. Uh, hmm. Am I going the right way, or did I get lost? Uh, I feel like it's like a nature species, like a fairy or something. Like, is it, usually when you see a young fairy, they are very prankful and trickstery. Yeah. But they would get the wise that they become and more. Oh, we're going to need to make a leap of faith for that one. But yeah, I feel that it's easy like with like a fairy such but they had like those uh, faces. However, she's of a more stronger variant. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, how do we even Maybe we don't even need to remove that branch. Since we can just go this way instead. Are you listening? It's not too late to do the right thing. And what is the right thing, Seed? Stop. Is choking out the entire forest the good thing? Stop! You're actually no better than them. Listen to me, Seed. You misunderstand our intentions. I just want you to leave us alone. Me and my treasures. Open your eyes, Seed. These aren't treasures you see around you. These are your fears. Okay. I've heard that a thousand times before. Save your lectures for someone else. Rightful Foxtrot. Is that? I'm focusing on listening. <laughs> uh, um. Uh. Okay. Yeet. Uh. Okay. Uh. Oh, that 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 uh, has to lead to one of the shrines. I'm sorry to ask you to do this, Fox, but you must persuade the seed to return to the sanctuary. If you can dispel her last fear, maybe she'll come to her senses. Hmm. <coughs> okay. Well, we know where the last of the stones was, or rather the second to last one, since I forgot to actually enter the nightmare through it. <laughs> okay, I am a bit curious if there would be anything different if we actually... Uh, Activate all of the shrines. We activated the wind. No, that was the spring shrine, I believe, which was in the. No, it wasn't in the winter area. Um, I guess we'll just have to see. It could just be that the shrines are there for achievements and such. Wouldn't be the first case. Uh, let's see. Hmm. If this is going to be or leading to the ending or an ending, then yeah, I do have some other games at the ready. Though there is something I'm thinking of that would be funny to follow this up with. So, but maybe oh. I would need a bit of I I would need time to install that. Um that is uh, I think it would be more fun to let you find out why exactly I would uh, put that game after this one. And again, I forget to just jump there. Well, is it a big install or a rather quick one? 
I forget its specific size, so uh, it is a few. You know, it is a few gigabytes, so it wouldn't be a too quick of an install. But maybe if I get it started in the background, give me a sec on this. Uh, let's yeah, see sources. I guess you can, uh, but actually, be able to double check how big it is. Uh, let's see library. Uh, Okay, I've been I've been shifting my games around on my uh, drives, so I could yeah deactivate one of the external ones. Uh, let's see, do I have enough space to put this on? Yes, there is. Okay, get that installing. Okay, so if that manages to finish installing by the time we finish this, we might move on to that game instead. It, I will give you a hint on it. We have showcased it before. Wow! What a great hint, Captain! Okay, but there, there is a connecting theme between this one and that one, though I don't think it'll be the one you might think. It, I don't think it's one you'll uh, immediately think of. Captain? Okay. I don't even know where to start! <laughs> oh, hello. What are you doing here? Also, there we go. Okay. Listen, just leave me alone, please. I don't want to see anybody. I don't want to return to the sanctuary. Fine already in place. Let's the see. The ritual of the seasons isn't what you imagine. You wanted it in the sure first the place. The want to forget me. They wanted to abandon me. That one's more of a help than a hindrance with this. We still don't actually know what the ritual of the seasons is supposed to do. Only that the seed thought it would be something they could use to set themselves free. But, yeah, they, they, it couldn't free them from their own fears. That's for sure. So maybe it would? Hmm. Okay, we have a way back. And that's the way back blocked. Okay. I'm guessing our aim is to try and get rid of that first vine, which is blocking the path. Okay. Let's see. Now the place is falling awfully quiet. Oh no, that would just be a shortcut. Okay, so this way it is. Or not. It's really hmm. quiet. Which is getting a bit disquiet thing, you could say. Hmm. Okay, what direction do I need to go for them? Yeah. And also, I'm still trying to figure out what guy, guy, game <laughs> Helen is referring to. I'm really sorry, you know, about your fox and for all the mistakes I made. I didn't know what I was doing. He suffered because of it. Let's see. The guardians don't understand me, but you're different. Hmm. Here, nope. take the last of my treasures. Okay. I only hope you know what you're doing. A return. Bring something very precious to the sanctuary. The seed. That's her, all right. Thank you, Fox. Thanks a million. The entrance to the last altar is open. Once the four guardians are assembled, nothing can stop us from performing the true ritual of the seasons. Okay, so we do need to do the shrines as well. Oops.
Okay, we completed one in the cave. So let's go look around in the Winter Guardians area. For the first time, the seed has refused to take part in the ritual. I don't think it's a good idea to force her like that. I get the feeling I've still got a lot to learn. If you think we're acting in her interest, you know what you have to do. Finish what we began. Go in search of the last altar. Okay. Hmm. I'm not too sure if we we'll do... We, again, we don't know what the Ritual of the Season does, but I'm not too sure if doing it with uh, an unwilling or potentially corrupted seed would be uh, helpful. But only one way to find out. Well, that it can help to cleanse her? Hopefully. Okay. Hmm. Okay. No shortcuts. Yes, one that goes way high. Okay. Okay, is the music supposed to be like this? Because it sounds a bit like it's glitched. Sure what you're talking about yeah, it's for me it sounded like the music got stuck on a note or something there's a bird captain no not that <clears throat> but yeah let's go look for these altars and uh, with some bad luck we might need a third stream of this after all but i'm pretty sure we should be able to do this in two and a half hours hmm Hmm. Okay. Ancestors. Yeah, yeah. All of these previous spirits, I presume. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, we know... Hmm. Did we actually get a hint towards the location of the last shrine? Because the last one that we got was the floating tree, I think. And there's supposed to be four, one for each of the guardians. Hmm. Hmm. Boing. Jump into the stone if you want to return to the sanctuary. Okay, fast travel. Nice double use. But we need to find where this shrine is first. So hopefully there is some path around here that's new. So reason I hope expect you to see shroom. <laughs> because of the shroom bug. Yes. Oh, shroom crab, but uh, but they are. Yeah, let's go with just bug for the moment. Let's see. There's also some of these trees here still that have been unmarked. Hmm. Okay, that might help us forwards. I don't remember any hints towards these areas of the other two shrines. And that's leading down into the caves. Oh, now this is to the, uh, <laughs> the Winter Guardian. May as well give a visit then. Or not. All right, then. 
Now it was a bit loud. Okay. Winter. Hmm. Boing. Still Oop. can't get buried. <laughs> Probably uh, for the best, depending on how packed that the snow ball is. True, but still, would have been funny. Softly packed, yes. Hard packed, no. Uh, if it was hard packed, it'd be ice, probably. Okay, this is definitely new, so this must lead to the Winter Shrine. Oh, and there's a sleeping spot here. Not sure how a spirit sleeps, but then again, the guardians sleep in some way. Hey, are you listening to me? If you sleep too much, one day you'll lose yourself in your dreams and never wake up again. You look troubled. Is something worrying you? It's just that I saw a spirit wandering around the sanctuary. Yeah, so? Are you afraid of spirits now? No, it's not that, but what if one of them turned into a seed? Should I let it take my place? Should I go back under the stone? <laughs> I think you're thinking too much. Oh, don't make fun of me. Just explain. Excuse me, but I've already explained several times over. Have you forgotten? Only one seed can exist at a time. And once the seed has been chosen, there's no going back. Are you really, really, really sure? Yes, because I'm telling you. Hmm. Well, you're just saying that to reassure me. Are my questions annoying you a bit? <laughs> don't worry. That's what I'm here for. If you don't trust yourself, how can you trust others? Promise me you'll try. Okay, I promise. Okay, I think that's the crux of the uh, situation with this. They don't trust themselves. And they fear that if the Ritual of the Seas is uh, performed, that they'll die, I presume. Sylvan Dream. Okay. I'm going to guess that there is... Wait, is, is that just it here? Not the shrine? Or this way I can continue? Or go back? Okay. Hmm. Okay, I was hoping for the shrine. But no. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Let me do a bit of a look then for... Well, where the shrines are. Or are there... There's, yeah, there are supposed to be four. Maybe they open in order or such. Like once I'm done with one, the other one will become open. If the other conditions for it are met, such as the Stone's Awakening. Okay, let's try that. Let's head for the mountains. All right. <clears throat> Good. Summer. Now I can speak properly again without food in my mouth. <laughs> oh, damn it. Yeah, I know it has happened sometimes I have spoken with my mouth full, but I prefer not to. Sounds but it's easier to hear me speak without food in my mouth. Yeah. Also, but manners as well. The rare occasion I have tried to speak with my mouth full is uh, during, uh, well, situation where I feel like I need to say something now and not after if it is chewing. <laughs> like a warning or something. Okay. Like, hmm. imagine, like imagine, I, I'm chewing my food, I see Hillian is about to do something very stupid. 
that's probably a moment I would probably speak my mouth full because of, uh, yeah, time of the essence. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's go with the uh, assumption that the shrines open one after another after they've been dealt with. So let's go find that floating tree. Because that's probably going to lead towards the shrine. In some way or another. Yeah, that one felt like a... Something. Okay. Hmm. Kind of wish there was a way to travel from the sanctuary to the different places, but oh well. One thing with fast travel that can be a bit of a bad thing is that it can make places feel a lot smaller than they actually are. Yeah. So limiting it to some degrees does make sense. Okay, we want to go up here because there's a shortcut to skip over the lake. I think it is in the next area where the tree is, because it was... Yeah, the, the mountains were in the background, or more in the background than they are here, I think. Still unsure about some of the engravings, or mosaics, as I think the game called them in the achievements. And I have a song stuck in my head, thanks to you. Go. I see fire for... <laughs> Oh, I see fire inside the mountains, was it? There you go. From uh, the Hobbit movies. Yeah. I like both Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit movies. I do know they are... I have the differences, but I also not blind. I know there are some... similarities. But I do think that there is something that comes up in both books even, so... Yeah, I have seen a lot of videos where people just trash the Hobbit for some reason. I think one of the problems people have with the Hobbit movies is that uh, in some ways they are stretched out over three movies. Because I believe in the I believe the actual story is just a little small book. Let's see, yeah. somewhere around here, I think. Yep, there so, it is. I have seen the extended edition of the Hobbit and I loved it. However, okay. sometimes even a small book may be, uh, move, turn into three movies due to... Uh, well, you want a lot of the, the context within it. Okay. Use each different season with each of these floating trees to move on to the next one. Okay, now I know why these trees look familiar. The Mm, just one a bit wrong there. They look like uh, like the autumn version of the magic trees in uh, Pixar. Okay. okay. Those are more leaf trees than pine. Spring again. Hmm. Okay. This is a new area, so fill that with snow. And boop. Oh. Okay, I did not expect it to go all the way over there. Uh, let's see. We need some one of those basher bugs to get through that. Or a bunch of snow. Uh -oh. That made me also realize something, a uh, concern with the Ashland update. Oh. I wasn't sure if flowers. I dare let you go near, anywhere near the catapult. <laughs> yes, you will be able to build build a catapult and a man-driven... 
Yeah, I mean, I was going to battle ram, even though I question it, it's a very unique battering ram. Okay. But yeah, you, you can throw random objects with it, but also people. And yeah, there you can see why I would have Captain Helen anywhere near it. Yep. Okay. I can see me myself about to fire it, and he just fooling around. I just thought, all right, I just gonna jump over here, here to get over there quickly at the wrong time. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Now I think there was a planting spot over this way. Fly, you fool! Oh dear. Uh, okay. Oh. Or, oh wait, that's a wind spot. There. Okay, autumn. Season of winds. Okay. Yeah, yeah, there's a planting spot over there. Okay. Get on here. Probably want to change it to winter. In case we do, yeah, we. Okay, it's not, it's not uh, winter that we need. It's water that we need. So spring. Okay, so that's now filled with water. Uh, open up. Spring. Okay, take in water. And there we go. Boop. And there we go. That's a growing tree, which we can then use to progress. <clears throat> and now, Wait. for some reason, my foot is starting to tingle. Okay, that's what they fly. Those things fly normally. So they even fly in their grown state. There. Okay, it's only the ones marked with the symbols of the seasons. There we go. Okay. Hmm. Okay, sudden dead ends. Hmm. Is this going to change in different seasons? Or... Wait, do we need to go get ourselves another bashing bug? Or... Wait, but... Not sure... We haven't had to use those to break through uh, ice. We've had to use the... The explosive bugs for that. Hmm. Plus there's not one here anymore. Unless okay. something else we need? Hmm. Or oh, we're missing something here. In plain sight. Let's wait for the magic tree to return. Yep. Hmm. Okay. Oop. <laughs> Just shorts. Okay. Hmm. While we wait for that, let's see. Lofty altar, sunken altar, and missed the opportunity. Let's see. On. There we go. Hmm. Could have come a bit closer, but oh well, the jump is still more than manageable. Okay. Now, am I really missing something here? There is a platform up there, but we don't have a tree to get to it. 
Wait, we so continue sweeping the other way. Yep. yep. Okay, I was being an idiot. <laughs> I thought I thought this was in the foreground blocking our path. Yeah, I was pondering on that, uh, and it was for okay. This time I will ask him to do that just in case. I thought I was being dumb, but nope. I was the one being smart. Yep. And me being dumb for jumping off the tree before it stops. Okay. There. Okay. Let's try actually getting to here. Oop, another sleeping spot. Hmm, that makes three out of... Oh, I'm guessing four, and we know where the fourth one is. If that is the last one. Everything has been in four so far. But why don't the other guardians speak? Now that's a good question. Maybe they have nothing to say. Or maybe they talked too much in their previous life. Their previous life? What does that mean? You know, if you'd been born several years earlier, you'd only have had the Guardian of the Fall and me to raise you. And the Guardian of Spring and of Summer, where were they? To put it simply, they didn't exist. Well, they existed, but not in their present form. Sheesh, I don't understand. Do you believe we've always had four seasons? Of course. Everyone knows that. So, <laughs> why were you born? No, the world isn't fixed. It's constantly evolving. As it gives birth to seeds, so it gives birth to guardians. And the seasons are born with them. Okay. Another of these. Okay. I like how the places of these are representative of the areas where you find them, since, well, we're up in the mountain. So it's the higher one on the left. And the on the other side, the two places for them are side by side. Okay. I guess, well, it would be hard to see one if, they, uh, if one of them was on the ground. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I may have some small gripes with this game, but overall, it is a very enjoyable experience. Oh, yeah. Rather relaxing. Okay. Now, let's see what this thing is actually supposed to bring us. No, uh, let me see this. I think I'll be playing this in the afternoon for... In the evening, it would uh, be too tired. Well, that and it probably will be a bit too relaxing. Like, you look at it and you get it so calm and feel so calm and peaceful, you get sleepy. And then you... Uh, uh, Okay, okay so you also were for it. That sounds stupid to say snow all the time. Yeah. Okay. And that was back wondering... in the previous area and it leads to a new one. For people wondering why I say snow or when I say you're doing snow sound, I might be not picking that sound up. <laughs> so I had to just say snore <laughs> for it to pick up. Okay. As you can try. Okay. Okay. okay, I need to be very close for it to pick up. And that was more like pig okay. sound than a snore. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, now go. I actually did a snore sound I did not pick it up. If we, if we pick up pig grunt, but not snore. I'm sure how to feel about Ooh. that. Okay, back in foliage, but in a new higher area. Okay. 
I hope we don't need to draw with the cicadas again. Uh, yeah, is, is it a nice little puzzle, but... One, you no. don't want to do much. Okay, this one has only two pieces missing. Now only one. Let's see. And what do you reveal? Okay, a shortcut up here. Yep, yep, shortcut up here. And where is the second stone? Hmm. Wait, why is that mushroom there? If you're not go supposed to go up? Let me see. Uh, floating tree. <laughs> Let's see. Right above you once you head into the tree and go right outside of the tree. Oh, wait. Oh, there's an exit there. Okay. I overlooked that. Okay. Orc. I can't tell what those things that are around it are. Are those some sort of mushrooms? Because they look a bit like coral. Yeah, that... Oh, look at that... I don't look almost like a flying organ or something. A bit of plants. There we go. Love the altar. I'm firing my altar. Okay, really? so we've got spring and summer. Now fall and winter. Hmm. It makes sense that the cicada is the is the guardian of summer because Do during you summer. Do you know what a seed is, Fox? A seed is an extremely rare thing in the life of a forest. It's a kind of miracle that we, the guardians of the seasons, must handle with care. Once her education is complete, a seed's destiny is to leave the sanctuary and find a place to germinate. Provided she is ready. Okay, to start a new forest? Okay. Uh, one lower still. Okay, see? Uh... Yeah, she may not be ready and probably what drew her into this. Yeah. The idea of being coming lonely and losing the old friends and all that. Uh... Okay, no hints to the other two altars, so let me see. Obscured altar, we already found that one. Sunken altar. Okay, where is the last one then? Mm -hmm. Okay, best to return to the sanctuary for the moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the this person's looking for the summer one. We've already got that just now. Uh, mm. Let's see. Mm hmm. Probably better if I just search more specifically. Yeah. I'm not surprised if we are soon done with the game. For if we... If I could see us uh, streaming to 6. If we feel up for it, of course. Yeah, and if dinner doesn't get in the way. Uh, that as well. Okay, I thought one of the cats just snuck in because I thought I heard something tip over. 
Uh, let's see. Binding page. Shrine. Found a more general uh, walkthrough. Uh, don't let your cats hear you say that, but they may think that you're telling them they are bad at stealth. There we go. That should be all four flower beds around here now. I'll sort of turn that to summer so that bridge will actually continue to be there. Okay. It's trying. Oh, wait. It's not actually finding it, or is it just not loading in enough to find it? There we go. Dumb. Okay, yeah, it's, it, it's just not loading in enough of the uh, of the walkthrough to actually find anything in it. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Did it load in everything now? This time, pay attention and still fail the jump. Oh dear. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's where we ended it last time about. Okay, part two, breaking free the windstones. Okay, this time we did load everything in on this. Okay. What we need is part three. <laughs> yeah, windstones. Activating the altars. Okay. Uh, let's see. Home straight. That's the cutscene. Showing some weird flowing trees. <laughs> okay. Winter region first. Uh, actually, I need to go down here, I think. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Creek, work your way through the area until you reach some purple seaweed that was shown during a previous cutscene. I'm not sure if I remember that. Mm -hmm. The bark, reveal a stone. Create a shortcut. Okay, so maybe I did miss that. Okay. That'll lead us to a new region called Islands. Okay. Hmm. Alright then. Just need to find this stone. Or was that was that the one I cleared up earlier, but did I miss the shortcut it made somehow? Hmm. Okay. Let's keep an eye out. Is this it? Oh, oh yeah, that that's definitely it. Okay, that's heading into the background. <laughs> okay. Uh yeah. Uh Okay, that's some thick ass fog. The fog. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, just the other way then. Okay, I'll keep this. I think there. I'll keep this on the hand, but I'll. I'll still try to get through this first on my own and... Okay, there we go, that makes sense. Just blow a path through the mist and there's the shrine. We need to find four pieces this time. Okay. There's one.
Sí. ¿Qué es lo so? ¿Winstrums? Sorry, what did you say? Yeah, I saw some of those mushrooms at the bottom of the shrine here as well, so I, I, I'm I, going to guess that they were just a sort of mushroom keeping them aloft in the air, somehow. <clears throat> then again, it could just be the, the power of the shrine shard itself that keeps it in the air and just the mushrooms formed at it over time. <clears throat> Anything this way? Yes. Okay, there's another flower bed and a summer bridge. <laughs> okay, this one has to travel. Two more? Let's see, let's see. There. Okay. Yup. Another flower bed. Okay, but how do we find the remaining two? Oh, there's something there to activate. And okay, yeah, that's where we need to go then. I must have overlooked those. Yep. Oh, yeah, it's these spring bulbs. Okay. Speaking of, do they actually activate in spring then? Nope. Okay. It's out. Hmm. Yep. Okay, I've been. <laughs> you need to specifically jump onto them. Okay. There. Some of that purple seaweed stuff and a little shrine, or not, not shrine, a little uh, monument. Okay, and I'm guessing that is for traveling back. Okay, we don't want to do that just yet, though. So, where are the other two altar pieces? Yep. <laughs> Completely missed. Hmm. Nothing around here. Or, let's see where this yeah, let's go. Okay, back here, as I expected. Okay. Well, then at least we know how to get out of there. But we don't want to do... Uh, well, that, that gives away the game that I was planning. <laughs> Okay. Wait. Now I'm even more confused. What does okay. this game and that game have in common? Uh, you'll have to find out then. Okay. This should be the shortcuts to get over there. Not really much of a shortcut, more just the only way we can get there. Okay, but how do we... Where are the other two shrine pieces? Hmm. Is there anything with this here? Looks like some sort of burn mark. Hmm. Seagulls. Seagulls! Really? Yes. Hmm. I'm sometimes concerned over our... Synchronicity? Ins yeah. Wait, can you go through the mist? Nope. It completely blocks. Hmm. Let's see. Mm hmm. Okay, too much fun. Like, go to the left, drop down from here, make sure you're in summer to be able to jump onto the flower pod on the other side. What? Mm hmm. Okay, let's see. 
past blocked by mist, go to the left, drop off, right, reflex, da -da -da, switch to fall, yeah. Head left, you will encounter a floating altarpiece, yeah, that's the longest one. Uh, da -da -da, continue to the left, jump up the platforms and go right, I'm curling the thorn, yep. Flower beds, continue to right to find another flower bed, just past the mist we cleared a moment ago. All the way to the right until you're blocked again. <laughs> okay, there, there, and there. <laughs> okay, go to the left, drop down from here. Make sure you're in somewhere to be able to jump on the yeah, flower pod here. <laughs> Yeah, another reef like this one. Uh, seaweed blocking glowing stone. Parking this stone will create a shortcut back. Okay, we need we actually need to enter the shortcut. The, the other two altar pieces aren't here. Oh why yes, uh, when we entered the shortcut area, we we came in into a new area. Yeah, it was it was the creek, just a, an area we couldn't reach before. Okay, yeah, maybe. That's what I meant. We're so that might be mean that this leads to another area for us back to the island to another area of the island. Nothing that way. Okay. This we can get here. Let's see. Da -da -da. Call the thorn. Mm -hmm. Okay, that, there was a new shortcut we created with that one, but I thought it would just send us back across the uh, this area. But no, it's. Is this going to send us back to the island or? Wait, is that the one that we unlocked or is? Also, very obvious cicadas. I think that is the one uh, mm -hmm. we unlocked. Let's see. Drop down to use the shortcut we just created. You'll be dropped onto an upper platform and find some flower pods. Okay, there must be that there. Uh, can we. Okay, we'll need to get back to the island and back onto that area then again. Because we can't actually jump up to it. Or can we get to it from here? Yes, we can. Okay. All right, Better design than needing to uh, go all the way around. Yeah. Boing. Okay. And is this going to bring us back to the... Yes, it's bring... going to bring us back to the island. Okay, but in a different region, or different area of it, so we can continue on. Okay. I just need to find the actual shortcut, which I'm guessing is over here. Go the other way. Hmm. It can be a bit hard to tell where they actually are, and that's the end of this <laughs> area. Yeah, then it's the okay. other, other way. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Where is it then? Oop. Flower beds. For some reason, these are noted in the in the guide, so I'm guessing they are for achievements to uh, get all of them or something. Hmm. hmm. Okay, not that I'll not that that'll be something I'll go for, but may as well, well activate the ones that we do find. Okay, where is the sh shortcut? That's the one to get up on the other rocks. Mm hmm. Oh wait, it's up on the. Let's see. 
reveal the shortcut as usual and head back towards the large structure in the middle using the power flower pot to get back up go all the way to the left okay there and there it is i think All that's, right, so that's I it and of course i miss it right there there we go i'd like that we can actually see the fox travel through it okay Right off the bat, we have one of these. So, winter. Hmm. Oh, we can't... Can we reach that from here? Boink. <laughs> okay. Clear up the mist. Go oh, and immediately one of these. Okay, for another shortcut back, I presume. Or no, that just leads to it. Okay. Or whatever this is. I don't know if this is supposed to be a mist or something else. I think it is supposed to be mist. Just very, very thick that to the point that it's almost a soup, more like. And now we're back here. Okay, so now both areas are connected. So we can continue here. Okay, and that's number three. Yes, one more. Then we just need to find one more shrine. <clears throat> the one for the fall. Okay. That should hardly take two hours. Okay. But I don't think we'll have a worthwhile amount of time left for the next game. So you'll have to you'll have to wait for another week to get an answer. Get the answer Oh do you know the answer? No, for what the connection oh. is between this game and Metal Gear Revengeance. Oh. <laughs> I will tell you this, it has something to do with the bosses. And there we go. Okay. I, I like the consistency with the game, since uh, first we have to find four uh, seasonal spirits, or shards, or whatever it, again, what it's called. Then... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, I'm drawing a bit of a blank already. Uh, yeah, then the four windstones, now the four shrines. Are we going to have another fourth? I'm going to get down. I'm going to guess no. So yeah, it'll be uh three times four you know, things, not four times four things. Unless the last one is going to be real quick. And there was also four fears of the, the seed, so I guess that's your fourth pair of fours. Possibly. Okay. The fox gets the zoomies again. Misty altar. The sanctuary is where the guardians assemble to perform the ritual of the seasons. A seed's education is then complete, and she must continue her evolution alone. To start a new forest where there then can be... didn't understand. She was frightened. Maybe she thought she was going to disappear, that we would abandon her. But we only wanted to enable her to grow. Hmm. And every teacher will have to, well, say goodbye to their student at some point. But yeah, the, the ritual of the seas is to basically continue the cycle of growth. 
to start a new forest where there then can be more guardians and so on and so on. Yeah, that's uh, a theory for now. A game theory? <laughs> Knew that one was coming. Okay. Now, let's head to the fall region. Did you expect that one? What, are you calling me a quack? No. Okay. <clears throat> Actually, we, we do have a big hint as to where this shrine was, because the freaking lake lowered. Okay. <laughs> Sounds of the sea. Alright. Why am I so tired? I mean, I'm getting sick or something. Hmm. Well, if that is the case, then probably best to skip stream tomorrow if this continues. Uh, it's not too bad. And if I do feel so sick I can't stream, I will inform you. But so far, and with that, that point, not okay. we did at one point, we were both very sick, we somehow still streamed anyway. <laughs> Probably wasn't the best idea, but yeah. <clears throat> okay. Now, let's head on over to the creek. And yeah, this still is not normal growth. But hopefully, the Ritual of the Seasons will help fix that. It less phony, at least. Also, yeah, it, it's... <clears throat> it's still side by side, but one is still higher than the other to show that one is on the ground. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if that last dream might have some impact, but I presume it's just going to be more lore. Which is nice, but not required for the full story. Well, it would give more insight on the story, but... Eh. <clears throat> it won't affect the ending, I presume. See, so, yeah, I'm, I'm not specifically going to look for how to get there again. Okay, because I tried getting that sleeping spot... You know, my a few times already and couldn't find how to get there. Probably me being dumb. But, yeah, we'll have to see. Also... Thunk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is actually quite deep. And that's the shards. Yep. Yeah, I think you missed one of the earlier. Okay, it's, it's a bottomless pit. Okay, this is going to be quite easy. Yep. And there we go. <laughs> that was indeed very easy. Or oh, was that just to... No, nope, that was... <laughs> okay, I like that. We completed the Shrine of Fall by falling. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, maybe we do have time for another game. Again, the pain even dinner is. There we go, sunken altar. Yeah, I don't. I don't think. I don't want to start on just two hours for the next game. <clears throat> All right. That's the last shrine. The four guardians have gathered in the sanctuary. Everything is ready for the ritual. Come and join us, Fox. You must see this with your own eyes. Path out of here. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, returning on a bit of a topic from earlier. 
uh, with steaming. I know that you can very easily steam chicken because I made that at one point. I think it was... Was it along with rice? I don't remember what else I put with it. I know vegetables as well were part of it. But yeah, to my knowledge, it is near impossible to burn something by steaming it. You'll probably a chance of just completely drying it out. But yeah, you won't ruin a well, you won't ruin a rest yeah, you won't ruin a dish past the point of being edible, to my knowledge. Which is of course limited. Ah, oh, I didn't know you could steam chicken. I heard of, I think I heard of steam the ham. Probably more for the memes. It's a meme. Of course it is a meme. Same sense. Oh, right, that's where I heard it from. Yeah, steam the hams and something. I've never actually seen the uh, episode of that. It was but... hamburgers. Yeah. I don't he think it he was tried to trick his boss. It was uh, not that. hamburgers. He called them steam ham. It was clearly hamburgers. Yeah, that. But yeah. It was Seymour. Yep. With the principal who cannot stand his guts. Okay. Now, what if the stone should be here so we can use that to fast travel back? Okay. And that was here, right? The one that we had wind blowing from underneath. To, yep. To put it back on the surface. Hmm. Okay, and where? There. Wait, what is it? Wait, it, it, it's Seymour Skinner, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. Now, what are we going to do here? And if the seed refuses, can we take her place? Here you are, Fox. Thank you again for everything you've done. <laughs> really, you can't even be here in person. You have okay. to Zoom call for the ritual. Eel. Cicada. It was an eel. May the ritual commence. Oh, the thorns are gone. Yeah, this might be why it failed earlier. Yeah, the, the fragments were too weak for the ritual. Yes. She goes. cycle of the seasons if not for you fox don't worry the seed hasn't disappeared in this world nothing ever starts and nothing ever ends if you know where to look if you know how to listen you'll always be able to hear her voice can we do something for you in return Resurrect a fox. I understand, but it's impossible. You just As said that nothing truly really ends. We wish to reward you, dear fox. We cannot break what has already been broken. Don't cry for your fox. We'll make sure we honor him. Do we become a new guardian then? Um, 
Well, it's over. Yeah, two Good hours, game. 15. <laughs> no. <laughs> Good game. Okay. Game crafted by Swing Swing Submarine. Two programmers, one visual artist. Quite a skilled visual artist, I will say then. One for level yeah. design. And one... Uh, that is very much a Dutch name. Van der Kruisen. One to the animator. And additional steam... Yeah, steam story. Yeah, team, yeah, additional story. Story and characters. Herve Messeron. Visual effects, Gene Moreno. Additional programming. It's still textures and early 2D animation. Yeah, okay. And <laughs> third song. Yep. And Focus Home Interactive, the publisher. Okay, well, this is going. Let me take a quick look at the TV Tropes page to see if there was anything we missed. Let's see. Seasons after fall. Okay. Uh, TV. All right. Uh, okay, TV Tropes doesn't have a page for this game. Okay. Hmm. Somehow I'm not surprised. Let's see. Wik Wikipedia does have a page, though. Uh, it's a very, a very short one. Okay, music. The soundtrack to Scenes After Fall was composed by Jan van der Krusen. Okay, apparently Muri Muriesk. I'm guessing that's an artist name for them. Uh, released by G4F Records on September. Okay. Mm -hmm. And general pretty good scores. And the voice actors, Kate Melian and Colin Solman. As the Seed and the Garden of Winter each. Would have been nice to have some voice lines from the other you know, Guardians, but it's not really required. Because a minimal yeah. cast can work just as well. Yeah, and we do have to remember... It costs money. Yeah. Plus, if the if they just had some of their own staff uh, drive recordings, it would have been very jarring in like, the quality difference. Yeah, like, sometimes they do that if the... If there, someone has at least some experience with it and, and such, it may be able to do it well. But that's a lottery, almost. <clears throat> Let's see. Are there any other games by these developers? Nope. Okay, no, I'm curious. <laughs> the only page Wikipedia has on them is in French. So I'm guessing they're a French company? Maybe? Uh, let's yeah. see. I mean, you're mm -hmm. We're done with this game unusually early, but it's too late to start another game. True. Okay, this is weird. This this doesn't list season. It does list season after all. Uh, let's see. Apparently, there is supposed to be a new game in development by them. Uh, Grawl of Feather and Grit. Okay. Uh, and, again. Okay. Apparently, some of the previous games. Oh, special thanks to family and friends: Elia, Elodie, Ger Geraldine, Melanie, Cassandra, Charlie, Elsa, Alice, Arthur, Oscar, Leah, Samuel, Agathe, Agathe or Agathe, Agathe, yeah. and a bunch more. Okay. Uh, let's see. Previous games by Swing Swing Submarine: Topper Tario Tros. That sounds like a Mario Bros. parody. Uh, Meet Me at the Banana Disco, Greek and Wicked, Blocks That Matter, Tetrobot and Co. Okay, let's see. These two have wiki pages. Uh, let's see. Okay. Let me see. Can I read just... Is there really no page for this here in English? No, it's only in French. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah that, I, that those last two names very much confirm it. This is a French company. Okay. <clears throat> Anything after credits? Uh, I had something. I think that's actually the. <laughs> I think that's actually the idle animation of the fox. Oh, there we go. 
Okay, now it's just teasing us. It's not. dreams could come true. You must have some dreams. Hmm. Okay, do we know where that last one is? Yeah, that was just the fox being impatient there. All right. Okay. Now I'm gonna try and see something I was only able to see earlier due to interruption. Should we stream Metal Gear's uh, thingy after dinner or just wait until next week? Uh, next week, I'd say. But let's at the very least take another look for this sleeping spot since the game is very heavily hinting that there is something with it. I I would look up on I would look on the Steam achievements if there's actually a second ending for this. Um. <clears throat> But it's pr it'd probably be a hidden achievement, so you can't actually look those up. Uh, likely. Oh, bloody hell. Mm. Uh, mm. What? Normally I feel this tired... ...on weekends, you know, before we end the stream, uh, before bedtime, but... Uh, maybe we shouldn't be streaming this uh, evening. Yeah, uh, I'd rather not for the evening. Okay. Yeah, like, I might be sick, I did wake up with a headache and all that, but I did take painkillers early on. But it does feel strange to feel this tired in the afternoon. It's an oddly cracked bit of ground there. But we already have a shortcut like this. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's cracks all over the place in the ground, so that's nothing special. Okay. Now, if I remember correctly, the sleeping spot was somewhere off to the left. So let's see if we can find that again. And figure out how to get to it. Let's see. There is some a lit up area over there. Can we find a way to get there? Oh, right. Through these, of course. Okay. Hmm. Nothing here. Okay. Hmm. Nothing here. There is some platform there, but that's for getting up there. Hmm. We have no interest in that. It's, where is it? Is it this way? No, we've been here before. Hmm. Why are these mushrooms here? There's nothing to oh, jump towards them with. No dead ends. Hmm. I get the feeling we've already done what this one is. Yet yeah, that's there. Actually, scary. Wait, we had another crack, didn't right? we? Or something? Yeah, those need to be. These need to be in rather more specific areas and. Can't get there from here. Hmm. Okay, I'll have to look up the, the guide again for a second. Yeah, maybe just the extra time uh, we have remaining for this, I guess. And I don't want to spend too long on this, so let's give it some 10 minutes or so. Uh, sure. Let me see what we do with the evening. I just relax or we watch a series or whatever happens. Spot. Okay. Maybe sleep. Okay, that right. gets a, f a few finds in the document. Uh, okay, and it glitches out and just searches on SL instead of sleep. Hmm. Okay. First order of business is to find the sleeping spot again, wherever it may be. That's the exit. 
Okay. That isn't the only way to get in here. Uh, mm -hmm. Freak. Yeah, the freaking page is refusing to load fully again for some dumb reason. Uh, hmm. Give me a sec on this. I can probably narrow this down a bit by just looking for which of these... <clears throat> which achievement the sleeping spot is tied to. So, Steam. This game. Uh, air. Seasons after fall. Achievements. Oh, okay, there's no hidden achievements here. <clears throat> Let's see. A pretty bouquet. That's for all the... Uh, Oh, okay, apparently there's a bird hidden around. Okay, a reunion. Okay, so there is one. Winding Dream. What? Okay, let me look for that. Or winding. Yeah, <laughs> winding dream. Because you need to wind your plate way all around here. Okay, turn that back on. Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, let's see. Winding Dream Achievement. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. Go to the lake with a single water flower. Ta -ta -ta. Drain it. Spirit Path. Okay. Uh, what? Cascades. The area where you find the Spring Guardian. Wait. It's not here? Or I'm, I'm pretty sure we saw a sleeping spot in this cave here, but was I wrong with that? But it's easy to mistake things around here. Mm -hmm. Train the lake, unlock the spirit path. Okay. Let's try looking for this then. Hmm. In the cascades, go from sanctuary to lower left, right. Yeah, big ponds at the end. There's put the stone for the area and three plants to change water level. It's not the pond to go. The one just before that. Hmm. So I think we are in the wrong area then. Hmm. I'm, I'm pretty sure I remember. Okay. I could absolutely be misremembering, of course, since it has been a week. But I thought we saw a sleeping spot in the uh, <clears throat> in the yeah the dark area, but I guess I was wrong with that. What well, is something that you mistook for one? Could be. For now, let's oh, find a way out of here. We can uh, we can uh, we. the shadow effect. Can really trick one's mind there. Yeah. Okay. Let's see, actually. Hmm. There. Okay. Is this actually the cascades? Or. Easiest way to check would be to exit uh, to the main menu because that shows the reason where we're in. But we may as well oop, find a transition point to potentially confirm it. Yep, actually, yeah, I'll just do a quick back to title screen. We'll start at... Uh, it saves up exit as well. Okay, it's the pit. So we are in the wrong area. Hmm. Okay, then. Uh, where do you need to go? The Cascades. So if that is in deeper here or not. Let's see. Da -da -da. Okay, lower right path to the pit. Lower right corner to go to Cascades. Okay, so we are on the right direction. Just need to go in further. Okay. Just need to find... 
Yeah, we actually were heading the wrong way because we were heading back towards the sanctuary. Hmm. Okay, I might need to put in a marker for people just interested in the ending. <clears throat> okay, we need to cross over here. So, back to Autumn. There. Hmm. That's also, how... Okay. One thing I do kind of wonder about is how would... Uh, how would the Guardians of the Seasons deal with another spirit that can freely change between the seasons? Then again, I, I'm guessing that uh, in this true ending, we'll actually become uh, a new uh, Guardian. Uh -huh. There. Up and back. Okay. Up and over. Okay. Now we need to open this thing again. So... Actually, not like that. No. There. 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 No, it was already open. Okay. Okay, I think I kind of broke the game for a bit. Okay. Yeah, not really break, but I ran further than I'd wanted it to. Okay, cascades. Yep. Okay. Big pond at the end with the stone. Three plants to change water. That is too far, the one before that we want. Uh, da, da, just before it, with a single plant to change water level. Okay, should be easy enough to find. Okay. All right then. So yeah, we do have four, well, four sets of four objectives after all now, huh? <clears throat> four fragments, four windstones. For shrines and for dreams. Okay, this is is the one I think. Okay. Hop on and drain. Yeah, but it's already drained, I think. Mm. Go to middle, find a glowing stone, bark on it to unlock a new teleport path. We've already done that it seems. Uh, go to the left. Climb up the next tree. Okay, so we need to get out and then up. Or up and out. Okay. Uh, let's see, is there a, a teleport line to get across there or do we just need to... Yeah, yeah let's, let's just fill it. We'll freeze it. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So, the first tree that we find... If this is the correct one... Uh, hmm. Oh, here, ah, there it is. Okay. And... There. Okay. Yeah, I was completely conf mistaken. <clears throat> Last dream. Oh, no, stop. I'm not talking to you anymore. What do you mean, not talking to me? <laughs> Are you sulking? That makes a change. You who spends your time laughing and singing. Well, I don't want to laugh anymore, and I don't want to sing anymore, so there. Okay, I'm listening. What's upsetting you? I'm sick of always being left out. You never tell me anything. 
Left out? What do you mean? You know what I mean. Why don't you invite me to attend the Council? If the Council of the Guardians is called the Council of the Guardians, it's for a good reason. You think I'm too young and wouldn't be able to understand? Well, it's not as simple as that. That's too bad. If you won't tell me anything, I'll come and spy on you. Okay. Last one of that. We can fast travel back to the sanctuary with the windstone and see the actual, <laughs> the true ending. Winding dream, yeah. Oh. Okay. I presume this is going to empower the ritual in some way. No. Or just eat the fox. All right, then. Over to the windstone. Fast travel, and then we see just what the hell happened. Yeah, what the hell happened, indeed. I'm very curious. Uh, Order. I did not eat the fox. <laughs> sure, sure. Has to travel over the ice, then it is to swim. Okay. Uh, stone is supposed to be over here, right? Uh, okay. Hmm. Should be here. Okay. Fast travel. Okay, now what is this going to change? Hmm. Zoom. Hello. Lots of flowers. Are we back into the Mindscape of the seed, sort of? I think so. Yeah, but this time it isn't overgrown with thorns. Hmm. Uh, hello. Okay, so... Okay, is this... <laughs> I'm unsure as to what this is supposed to mean then. Like, them actually becoming... You know, the, yeah, the spirit and the fox becoming a new guardian? Yep, 100%. I think it's an open to interpretation ending. Yeah. Hmm. And a 100%. All right. Well, this was a fun little game. Um, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, maybe, maybe I will put something else on next week instead of uh, Revengeance. Not too sure if that would be better if as a main uh, week game or not. But we already have uh, <clears throat> we already have Battle for Middle Earth planned for that. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> I think I'll just tell you right now that. Uh, the bosses in the in Metal Gear Revengeance are named after the four winds, or after types of winds. Oh. 
<laughs> but yeah, we'll see if I'll replace it. Uh, I think for now I'll probably leave it as the next game for Saturdays. And yeah, we'll see what we'll do tomorrow. We could do a bit of extra... Uh, right on that. <clears throat> uh, with the Minecraft mod pack uh, that uh, Tatum and such uh, put together. Uh, we should finally be getting a start, a, a combined start, on the server on Wednesday. So, yeah, we can use uh, tomorrow as a, <laughs> a day for practicing and just checking out what mods are in there again. Uh, though, again, for <clears throat> for clarification, the, th the shtick of the server is to be that everyone sticks to their own type of, their own classification of mods. So we'll have one person doing mechanical stuff, one other person but uh, <coughs> farm stuff and such, and mine will be magic mostly. Okay, we'll probably loosen up with that some, because for some I presume it might get boring doing just farming stuff and such, but we'll have to see about that. <coughs> okay. Oh dear. That's for now. Before we end the stream, let's go look for someone to raid. So, there. Let me change the screen share for Drakir. Rich, live. Let's see. We have Nice, who is playing Tears of the Kingdom. WBPL, who is playing also Tears of the Kingdom. K9 is playing Helldivers 2. Profound Badness is playing Gothic. Okay, that is on my eventually to-do list as well, though that probably will be a longer game since, well, RPG of the 90s and such. Or actually, not 90s to zeros more, I think. I forget specifically when Gothic released. Still hoping that the remake is actually finished someday. And then we have Halloween playing Elden Ring. Horatius the Dwarf doesn't actually have a category set at the moment. Uh, okay, hot and heavy with... Uh, Candy Crypt? What? Okay. Um, it's not going to be that kind, I'm pretty sure. Okay, looks like just chatting or such at the moment. Because uh, they got a new model. Yep. Next we have Edrim playing Final Fantasy 14, I'm guessing. Yep, 14. Puffle Cake, he is holding a special event. Okay, it's their birthday. Um, oh, they're... <laughs> They're a bit over our typical rating range of up to 100 or so. Uh, but yeah. Any of those sound interesting to you, or should we take a look at recommended? Or shall I take a pick? Uh, we'll let you take a pick. Uh, let's see. Looking through recommended, we have someone playing Fallout New Vegas, Sims 4, uh, Helldivers 2, and a game called Firmament. Let me take a look at that. Uh, okay, I'm just looking at a gate that opens, okay. Is this a mist-type game of so or something? Looks like they're holding a charity donation thing as well. Okay, it's not mist because they can just walk normally. Alright. Um, hmm... We raided nice somewhat recently, but we did. Hmm. Let's go. I'm curious about this game, so let's go raid them. So, All right. DJ Ennards or something like that. It's DJ N R R D. Okay. But yeah, we'll find out what the hell this is about in a moment. So slash raid and paste. But before we start with that, of course, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Thank you, Noon, for lurking. Yes, I do see you there. And thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for joining and watching. Yeah. Uh, yeah, tomorrow, likely some single-player Minecraft in preparation for the server going up on Wednesday. Uh, uh, technically, the server is already up, but Wednesday is when we actually start with everything and such. I'm presuming they'll have built a bit of a center place already, because it was sort of also an idea to make a bit of a village. <laughs> I, I'm thinking about just building a massive fuck-off tower to put all of my stuff into. <clears throat> As usual. 
Uh, but yeah, beyond that, I uh, can't really think of too much at the moment. Uh, so yeah, uh, of, of course, but <laughs> we're getting started with Lord of the Rings, the Battle for Middle Earth on Tuesday. Uh, continuing with that on Thursday, we'll probably be busy with that for a good few streams. And yeah, uh, next week on Saturday, we will get started with Metal Gear Revengeance then. <laughs> That's going uh, to be a blast. Oh yeah, and I guess the other Sundays? Uh, retro Machine or something? Uh, hmm. Yeah, we'll have... I think I will just do more Minecraft streams on Sundays at the moment. I'll probably be playing on the server on other times as well, which I may or may not stream. We'll have to see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, for the moment... That is how things were, are going to be for the moment. So let's get that right started. All right. And okay, no block. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then, be safe, everyone. And have a good, lovely weekend. <laughs> and watch out for uh, scared seeds. Uh, that too. <laughs>